Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how you can create your own Instagram video ad using Adobe Spark Post, so stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. As I mentioned at the start, we're going to be walking through how to create very own Instagram video ad using Adobe Spark Post. We're going to be doing this on the mobile phone so you'll need your mobile phone to do this. And so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in and do that. So we're going to go ahead and start with a new project here and click on the green plus sign and then go with just a solid color here. It doesn't matter which one, go ahead and click on next. Choose the size, in this case, I'm going with Instagram portrait and click on done. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this content, which I don't need just now. And actually this text, I'm just gonna move this to the side. I will use it here in a bit. Now, the one thing I want to do is add a video to this uh, graphic because it's a Instagram video ad. So what I'm going to do is click on the green here area and then click on replace. And now I have the option to choose videos. Now this we can't do on the web yet. This is only available on, I believe right now, just on iOS. So if you have an Android, you can just go ahead and borrow a friend's iOS device to do this here. So click on here, videos. And I've got some example videos here that I'm going to be using as my Instagram video ad. I've got this one here. It's about a 41 second clip. Now with creating these video ads in Adobe Spark, you're limited to max of 15 seconds. So you can adjust which 15 seconds you want. Now I'm going to kind of slide this here so that I can see myself right there. And this was at an event I was speaking at talking about photography. And what I'm going to do here is just kind of adjust the video here so I can move myself kind of in that little spot right there. And maybe just do a little bit of adjusting here. Let's see here. Trying to remember which part here. I think this is what I want here. I'm kind of very animated about the photo here. It's about right there, make some adjustment, maybe about a 14 second, maybe even a little bit longer here, make the adjustment, maybe about 11 seconds here. And then I'll click on done. I could always go back and fix that. So now comes the ad part, I should say the, um, the text. So I'm going to click on this text here, double click, and I think I've already got some text ready to go here. Available now for virtual speaking engagements. That's pretty much what's happening nowadays. And then let's make some adjustments to that. We'll do a line. And I like this magic one here, which is uh, kind of fits the text all kind of even from left to right. And then adjust the spacing. We're gonna go line spacing, adjust the shape here, make the shape a bit bigger. Um, and then click on done. Now what I'll do here is make some adjustments. So I like kind of filling the space out right here. Let's see how much we can do. And if I need to make it a little bit smaller there and I'm probably going to go with a different shape here. So let's click on that and then click on shape here and choose maybe a little more of a rounded uh, shape here. So it doesn't matter. It's a little bigger there. So we'll fix that. We'll go over to spacing and bring down the spacing here right about, right about there, I should say. And if I want to, let's see here, let's make this a little smaller here, put it about right there. Now I'm going to change the color here because it doesn't really stand out with kind of the video there. It's kind of just blending there, doesn't really pop. So let's go over to color and I'm going to choose, I have some brand colors here. I really want to make this text pop because I want to draw attention to this video ad. So I go through here and I've got some different ones, kind of this red and uh, blue here. I'm going to flip it. I don't like that blue, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to white. I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, let's see, the red, I think I'm okay with that. Maybe see, slide through here. Maybe try a, the different red. I think that's a, a little better looking red there. Let's change that text to white. And then now, so what I wanna do here is click on um, the plus sign, I'm going to add some more text and I want to do a call to action. So people watch this video and I want them to do something after watching this video ad. So I'll click on add text here and maybe say visit uh, my website. I am Claudius.com and then click done here. And then for this one, I can maybe 
drag it out, put it down here and change the shape, maybe back to that square looking one. Let's do some uh, spacing adjusting here. Maybe make the shape a bit bigger. Bring it down here at center it, maybe make it just a little bit bigger. Kind of fills this kind of space down here underneath this uh, stage. And then let's see here, maybe let's do an animation here. We're gonna animate this text. Now the video is playing right there, really cool. So I got the video playing in the background. And then what I wanna do is kind of animate that text so I can do this right here, all the different ones. Just depends on what you want the animation to be. Maybe do kind of a fade, kind of do a fade here. Again, whichever one fits, I, I kind of like that right there as I see the squares there. Um, click on done. Now I've got maybe a couple more steps to do here. I'm going to click on my video here and then go to edit. Now this video has some audio with it, but I don't want it played in the ad because I want to just kind of draw attention to the motion in the video and then the text. So what I'll do here, you see that sound on button. I'm going to click that and it's going to turn off the audio for this video that I imported. So now what I can do is click on done and let's see, let's click on play. And it's kind of what it looks like. I'm kind of talking here on stage, making some kind of animated movements there. And I turn back around and cool, it goes to the next scene. And again, if I want to, I can adjust the length of that clip because I kind of turn my back and I kind of don't want that to happen. Maybe I want all of it to just be facing forward and maybe about there. And then click on done. And then let's hit play. So here we go, available now for virtual speaking engagements. Visit IamClaudius.com. Really cool right there. I've got the animated text and the video playing in the background. And I can go ahead and now share this on social media. One more step to do here is click on that share button there at the top right corner. Uh, Adobe Spark post. We'll go ahead and compress this, creating the video so that I can share it on social media. And that's how you can create Instagram video ads using Adobe Spark post. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and please do share this video with your friends. Thanks for stopping by and as always, be good to one another. Peace, I'm out.